good morning students hope you all are fine and studying well at your homes so children in the previous video we discussed about the topic what is secularism and i hope you all are very well clear with the term secularism as it was coined by british writer in 1851 which stated that a state does not promote any religion and people are free to follow any religion of their choice but have any one of you thought that why secularism is so important in a democratic country why does our government does not select one single religion for all any guesses any answer by any one of you okay let me tell you because in our today's video we are going to discuss our next topic which is why is it important to separate religion from the state why our government does not select a single religion for all the citizens of the country so children the constitution makers felt it important to keep religion and state separate for the following two reasons the very first one was enabling the country to function democratically i repeat enabling the country to function democratically and the second one was protection of people rights to the freedom of religion what is it protection of people's right to the freedom of religion now we are going to discuss each one of these in detail one by one the first is enabling the country to function democratically a democratic state does not discriminate on the basis of religion we are clear with this point so all the religions are equal before the state in india so in such a case children there may be a situation like one religion is in majority and the others are in minority so the one religious group which is in majority has access to the state power and they can easily use their power against the minority community so for protecting the minority religion from the cruel and unfair practices of the majority community just to protect their fundamental rights and to help them continue their own religion freely the the state decided to separate religion from the state the second reason was protection of people's right to the freedom of religion so children under the right to freedom of religion every indian citizen is free to follow his or her religious belief they have freedom to exit from any religion and embrace any other religious beliefs they have freedom to interpret any religious teachings differently so in simpler words we can say that religion is a matter of personal choice of an individual and the state has no role in it so from the above two discuss reasons we can conclude our answer by saying that it is very necessary to separate state and religion so that the citizens of the country they can live freely and follow their religion of their choice